kick start of first trade G20 finance corporation conference in Mumbai reflecting India's vision of one earth one family one future held in Mumbai at the Taj Land Ends where the panel discussion talked about how developed and developing countries are facing issues of trade finance especially in the case of MSMEs to build up a transparent digital ecosystem which is said to be one solution gives a better future to all so with this we will take you to the first conference in Mumbai took place to address globally the trade and finance issues along with one to one interaction with professor andreas klassen germany and mr m senthilnathan cmd ecgc first of all welcome to india and uh, when we talk about trade and investment it is the core for an economy and looking the progressive india how do you see that these issues to bridge gap between the trade investment and especially finance issues could be addressed with these sorts of events uh, done through g20 as you mentioned trade creates growth and it's very important for an economy to create jobs to safeguard jobs in the economy it's about diversification it's about innovation it's about technology trade finance is a very important part of that. So what we have to do and G20 is an important part of that is to understand how we could bridge the gap, how can institutions collaborate and how can new digital solutions help us to foster more trade and to close or at least narrow these trade financing gaps. What do you see what are the challenges for the developing country especially to progress with the MSME sector? One of the big challenges is basically that there is sometimes a lack of a functioning commercial banking system. Of course, banks are thinking about where they can earn money and that of course leaves a lot of MSMEs behind. So they don't have the financial information, they don't have the collateral, they are not able to give proper information and that's the reason why they are financing requests are rejected and that's something where we have to find solutions in a combination of different instruments to help that to help the MSMEs to develop new technologies to export and of course to create new jobs in the country when we talk about uh, creating more innovations and bringing more ideas so in the digitalization world what can be done to find those solutions especially developing countries like india i think there are two core issues number one is you need a lot of physical documents if you do trade and number two is of course again the financing part of that if you are able to use digital solutions regarding better information about financing etc that will help as well and we have the technologies blockchain artificial intelligence we just have to apply that of course we are talking about digitalization and uh, bridging the gap between uh, the trade financial institutions so where it is lacking as you talked in the panel discussion the lots and lots of paperwork are going through uh, so the digitalization it's well needed so in this case what can be done i think if the indian government would not only make the regulatory issues easier but also of course use the g20 presidency to convince others to follow that i think that would help a lot and of course another opportunity i think is you have a very strong strong system in india with public commercial institutions with new players like fintech and insurtech and of course also institutions like ecgc or exim india if you are able to help them to create a better ecosystem both as institutions but of course also uh, regarding their processes i think that would create a significant positive effect with these kind of events there are lots of promises are there and obviously solution findings are there so how the follow up should be there to make this happen the starting point is strategy and policy of course and that's the reason why these um, uh, events are so important but you're absolutely right of course then you have to hand over to people implementing it making it operational that's exactly their role so if they feel inspired and of course they have the mandate to do that i think that would help a lot and last but not least i like to looking at the end of a process which is basically what is the impact the result you want to create and to make it measurable if you combine the strategic direction and the measurable result the impact then i think you just have to deliver on the implementation side sir as ecgc would play a vital role in the coming days in terms of trade export i'm talking and with this kind of discussion on trade finance what is the outcome of the panel discussion today common outcome for what the panel discussion is that digitalization of 
trade is the way to go yes there are problems in making trade finance inclusive to all because you need to evaluate the performance risk of the sellers so when the seller is a very huge company it will be cost effective for many trade finance providers to evaluate and keep their resources ready so at the beck and call of a bigger company they can provide the trade finance when it comes to micro small medium enterprises it may not be cost effective for a individual trade finance provider to evaluate their performance risk so then what happens is that they allocate a limited resources to evaluating each and every businesses the digitalized trade finance platform provides a possible solution that you can evaluate the credit risk to buyer to whom they are selling of course uh, this is a era of dig- digitalization and the solution to everything is digitalization what has been uh, discussed in the panel so you also said in your last words that 2 uh, to 3 years of time india would be achieving that goal of digitalize making digitalization a reach everywhere so uh, how the implementation process in this would work and go paperless as we have already seen this platform for domestic trade as took off after the covid has come the government as well as uh, rbi has pushed large companies to come on trades platform so that their supplier service providers to them can upload their invoices in the trades platform and the payment for that can be digitalized so that you then you build a track record the words as quoted after the panel discussion that after 2 to 3 years paperless vision is achieved Yes, definitely it is possible. The purpose of this seminar was that it will be a side event and uh, this side event will not only give us the opportunity to participate but also the people of India, the people of Mumbai, they would also be able to see and uh, watch and hear what we are doing. Congratulations.